All right, we're gonna go back in time a little bit further now uh, from the PS2 era to the PS1 now in this section. Coming up, you'll see why. Look at this for abysmal textures and popping. Like, look at that mountain to the left. It is atrocious. What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well today. This is going to be a first impressions kind of video on the ridiculously long named TT Isle of Man right on the edge tree. Right, let's get straight on in here. Right, so you'll notice up in the top right hand corner of the screen we've got Ride 4 running up there. And on the big screen we've got the new TT game. I put Ride 4 up there as a comparison. And let's bear in mind that that is a 3 year old game and this is meant to be a brand new game. I'm gonna put Ride 4 in the big screen and TT up in the top right hand corner later in the video just so you can get a kind of a comparison between the two with regards to both the graphics and the sound. Okay, so the question that everyone will probably want answering is, is TT worth the hefty price tag of 80 euro or eight pounds or whatever it may be? And this is just my honest opinion, but in its current state, I don't think it's worth that hefty price tag. And you'll see why later in the video. Here we have Ride 4 running on the big screen. Not a whole lot of foliage going on here in this section of the track, but the textures seem to be a lot better in Ride 4 than they are in TT. The bike we're using here in Ride 4 is the Triumph Daytona 765 racing modified version. I chose the racing modified version here for Ride 4 because I've done pretty much all the upgrades you can do on the Triumph Daytona 765 on TT. Personally, I think the sound in Ride 4 here on this bike is pretty terrible. I think TT has to get the win here when it comes to sound comparison between these two bikes. Throw an old comment down in the comment section below there and let us know which of these games you think has the better sound here on this Triumph. All right, so Ride 4 is looking a little bit more vibrant here, but that may be down to the fact that I I'm racing in the dusk in TT here in this one, bad decision. Right, so we're back on board here in TT. And believe it or not, I haven't changed to a PS2 game. This is still running on the PS5. But just look at how terrible them mountains are in the background. The pop in here in this section of the track is just unforgivable in my opinion. And it hasn't been too noticeable here so far in the recording, but the frame rate in TT Running on the PS5, I'm not sure about any other platform, but PS5, it's terrible. I thought it might be because I was recording the footage from the PS5 at the same time as racing, but I stopped recording and still a terrible same frame rate. And I double checked to make sure I had it in running in performance mode, and it is. Maybe they were rushed into releasing the game and they had to release it with all these bugs and they may be fixed in future updates, I hope they are. But for the moment this game is looking like a PS2 game in my opinion. Not optimised at all to run on the PS5. I reckon a price tag of 40 quid would be more along the lines of what would be realistic to sell this game at. Handle wise it's okay. It seems to be an improvement on the previous two games. The bikes seem to transition from left to right very slowly. Uh, I think Ride 4 kind of had that problem as well. I think they definitely need to do a patch update to speed up those left to right transitions, especially on those uh, smaller CC bikes. All right, check out this wall section here, this white wall popping in in the distance. It's a horrible bit here and it just shows you the level of optimization here on this game. The textures in this mountain section are a blurry mess. I think coming up toward the end where you can see the mountain uh, in the background, the hill, uh, is probably the worst. And the road textures as well, you'll see little patches. TT isn't a terrible game, but it's definitely not worth the price tag in its current state. The handling is definitely improved upon from previous games. But I did come across a few little um, buggy glitches in the handling as well. At one stage I was taking a left hand bend and it wouldn't let me turn back the other way, it was just stuck left, so that was a bit of a glitch. Alright, we're going to go back in time a little bit further now, uh, from the PS2 era to the PS1 now in this section. Coming up, you'll see why, look at this for abysmal textures and popping. 
Like, look at that mountain to the left. It is atrocious. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What are the graphics like in the game? Does the pop in bother you? For a PS2 era game, just check out the patches on the road here as well, where it's like the pixels weren't uh, finished properly here. You see a load of them. Look at them. Like big lumps of the track that just aren't finished. 10 or 15 years ago, these graphics would have been out of this world. But we're now in an era where it's hard to tell whether something is real or a game. If you're a big fan of the TT series, then you probably will enjoy this game as well. Uh, even with all the pop in and bad graphics. I'm sure if you're a fan, you'll enjoy exploring all the different roads on the island. There's too many YouTubers out there just looking to sell the games for the companies, I think. Because they're, you see the thumbnails and you're like, oh my god, this looks real. Looks like real life, realer than real. It, the reality is, it, it's not like that. Look at this crash animation here. This is like a generic crash animation that happens every time you crash. It's as if it was like a placeholder crash animation that they just didn't have time or they didn't bother changing. I reckon the guys that made this game do have a passion for bike racing and the Isle of Man TT race, but I think they may have been rushed by the powers that be to get the game out there, get it released and make it money. I hope that they take the time to update the game with patches and fix some of the sloppy work in it. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. Have a great day and I shall see you in the next one.